Breakups can be devastating. Hey, it's Jermaine Wong. You're here at Final Call Productions at the Jermaine Thinking Spot. I want to hear you say that you don't love me. I don't love you. A bad breakup can actually have you lose faith in humanity, make you go temporarily insane, and sometimes even cause you to think murderous thoughts. It's over. No one has ever dumped me. Oh! <laughs> Now I'm talking as a person that's had a failed marriage, three broken engagements, many estranged friendships, numerous heartaches. Whoa, that's a lot of wisdom, normal Jay. Ah, nice of you to notice, Curious Jay. I say all of that to say this. Breakups are messy business. Don't love me no more. <laughs> he don't love me no more. <laughs> So here are three faith-inspiring tips for getting through relationship breakups. Let's do it. One, research studies suggest that women find it way more easier than men to share their feelings, especially when it pertains to hurt feelings. Share my pain? No, I can't be all teary-eyed and snot nose in front of his brethren. How's that supposed to look? Which is the reason why a lot more men experience mental illness because they don't have sufficient outlets to express their feelings. Which is why my number one is find a loyal and mature friend to share your pain with. I don't think I'm down with that. Someone like who? You know, someone mature enough to handle your tears and the other face liquid. Why can't I just keep my feelings bottled up inside? I'll move on eventually. You may be able to move on, but there'll be a high chance that you've not properly healed. And that pain will find other ways to come out, often in negative assumptions within your new relationship. You're yelling at me right now! Because you're being crazy! Nope, you've just not got over your previous woman. I'm not to play. So me snot nosing my friends does what exactly? It allows you to express, have your feelings validated and appreciated and opens up an opportunity for genuine connection. At the grassroots of it all, the pain of breakups is the pain of broken connection. A mature and loyal friend will allow you to express yourself in a safe and non-judgmental way. Interesting, interesting. What's number two? Okay, so the next tip is in regard to how you communicate with your ex. Backside, why are we even talking? Just because your relationship broke down doesn't necessarily mean either parties are ready to let go. Often there are random texts, random phone calls. Hey ex boo, what was that toilet paper we used to buy again? Was that cute one with the dog? Oh yeah, yeah, that's the one. So what are you wearing? He is done out here. So number two, establish clear boundaries and clear lines of communication. Why not just lock it off? Clean break. That might be wise in some cases, but there may be situations where you both have joint responsibilities, like a mortgage or a business partnership. Split that down the middle, take off and Bounce. Or kids? Hmm, I guess it wouldn't be wise to split them. No, that wouldn't be a wise idea. Okay. In cases like these, you may need to talk to your ex, but having clear boundaries and clear lines of communication will aid that healing process and help to give you that much needed space to reorganize your life post breakup. And for the love of God, do not be stalking her on social media. Huh? Give me the, pass me the phone. Okay, this third tip really should have been number one, but because it's so powerful, I wanted to share it last. This third tip has brought me back from the brink of despair time and time again. And I know if I ever were to end up in a place like that again, my knowledge of this third tip would be a lifesaver. Three, trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not onto your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he shall direct your Paths. If you're someone who's experiencing a broken relationship right now, I know you might be feeling like there is no life beyond this situation. I just want you to know God will get you through this period of your life. You're feeling fierce loneliness, my sister. You're feeling emotionally bankrupt, my brother. I know God will take your pain away and bring you through this messy situation and show himself to be a true and loving God that cares about you and your hurts. He not only fixes situations, he recreates them. If he did it for me, there's no reason why he wouldn't do it for you. Why don't you break down those three tips one more time? Okay, so one, find a loyal and mature friend to share your pain with. Two, establish clear boundaries and clear lines of communication. Three, trust in the Lord with all your heart and believe that he will recreate your situation. Let's get through. I would love to connect with you and know how you got through some of your breakups. Please leave me a comment in that place where you leave 
comment. My name is Jermaine Wong. You've been tuned into Final Call Productions at the Jermaine Thinking Spot. I really appreciate your time, guys. Super, super encouraging when you guys share. So please show love. If you like this video, comment and let me know. You can check out my previous GT spot right here. And be sure to subscribe to my channel because I release new GT spots every other Thursday. So until we see each other again, keep tight, hold tight, and until next time.